Ochoma, can you just shut up? Let me hear if I have if I have to go out. Shut up. The people you're already abusing are not, I don't hear. So just, just shut up. Let me hear out. If I had to go on, you say what happened? Okay, it was this morning. I went to beg Uncle Ophia to give me some money to go to Enugu to buy um, my neko form and to check my jam result. He said I should go to you or uh, until Choma. I didn't explain to him that you don't have money for now and that Uncle Choma just lost some money. He said I should go and meet uh, Uncle Osondo or Likim to give me money. I continued to beg him. I said that he should please help me. That if he were to be outside as now, he would just help them without asking twice. Ah, just immediately, Ego came in. I started abusing me, Uncle. There is no thing she did not call me. She said that I'm a slave in this house. She said that I'm useless. I didn't say anything, oh. I didn't say anything. I only replied her when she started abusing my dead mother. She did what? There is nothing she didn't call your sister today. There is no name she didn't call your sister. She was abusing your sister, eh? You see that, ago? I will deal with her in this house. I will finish her in this house. Did you say she abused my dead sister? Mm. Mm. Ego abused, insulted my dead sister. Mm. The woman that trained us, the woman that raised us up. Ego had the guts to insult her. Circle. Hey! Last card. It's a lie. I have. No better. No better. So, you are here. And let your wife. Insult and abuse our late older sister without you saying a word. No way. What did you drink at Ngodu that is making you shut my knee like this? Oh, maybe your wife must have fed you with lies or what? No, Beza, don't push me. Don't you push me by asking me such stupid question. I ask you again. So you sat back and watched your wife insult and abuse our late older sister without you saying a word. Is it that you did not tell her who she is or us? You just came back. And maybe your oracle must have fed you with lies. And you began to jump and shout my limb like a castrated dog. Don't make me do what I will regret. Don't you? What will you do? If you cannot control your wife, I will help you do it. My being quiet doesn't mean I'm stupid. And you, Ego, you dare. You dare open your filthy mouth to insult and abuse my little older sister. Are you mad? Nah, Induke, don't insult me. Please, don't insult me. Uh-uh. <sighs> you are judging this case uh, from one side, and I don't like it. Oh. Do you know the filth and the rubbish this rat vomited from her mouth today? Uncle, did you hear what she just called me? Hey! Hey! Shut your mouth! Hey! Hey! Shut your hey! mouth before I stop you! Shut her down! Why should you die? Why is she talking one by one? If you talking? can't control your wife, I will help you control her. That is, if I, I will, will help you control your control wife. Control her. Control her. Are you listening to me? Ego, whatever you call yourself. Let me tell you this. For the very last time, any day you dare, ever again, insult my late older sister, I will bless a curse on you. Hey! Go ahead! I will bless it. Hey! Go go ahead. Ahead. No, bless a curse on me. Bless a curse on me. I will control you. I will control you. Bless a curse on me. 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 Hey, Peter, you want to bless a curse on me? I have my own curse. Bless a curse on everybody. I have a curse. Why did you control your wife? Why did you control your wife? Why did you control your wife? Did you control my wife? I told you that it's my wife. Why are you people fighting to see that I die today or tomorrow? Mama, Mama. Ndubeze has refused and has failed to control his wife. Ndukwe. Yes, Mama. What will Ndubeze do today that we cannot bear? Oh, Mama, ask him. Oh. Mama, ask him. Since you people want me to die, let me die. Mama, no. Mama, no. Let me die. Mama, no. Let me die. Let me die. Shame on you, all our belongs to Jesus. Enemies, 
Shemot for you. All power belongs to Jesus. Enemies, Shemot for you. Don't you greet? Don't you greet? Anyway, where is my brother? My brother left the venue this morning. Tell my brother even when he comes back to one mafia for me. You should one mafia for me since I traveled back to uh, my own place. Also, I've been disturbing my wife. Tell him how to come and sleep with him in a hotel. Hey! This is only a matter of hey. It's only a matter of hey. The point is that I will never take you to this with your If you ever talk to my wife on the road again, what rubbish do you have? Ah, is oh. he out of his senses? Is he mad? Eh? Tell my brother to warn him up because I will report this to to anyway and the and the own. <laughs> so, Mas Yebuna, you just decided today to come here and embarrass yourself, eh? So, at your age, people can still push you to come here and disgrace yourself. You are shameless, very shameless. So, woman, you have to go to talk. You have to be don't go to talk to me. Man, without minding the shameless act of your husband. Ah, story! Do you think I don't know that it is your wife who has been pushing my husband up and down? You think I don't know? Eh? You left your wife here and you traveled. It is the same you that is coming back here to complain. Eh? If you leave your farm on harvest day, people will help you harvest it. So go home and perform your duties as a man to your wife and stop complaining like a monkey. You are calling my wife a prostitute. You are very intelligent. That is what she is. Hmm. All that right. is what she is. I will report this to Igwe and woman now. Then you and your shameless husband will come there and explain better. My friend, get out from here. Go to your house and perform. I will go, but I will come back. I will see you at the house. You are angry, eh? But you don't have talked to the man like that now, eh? Do you want to swing you there? Did I tell you? Did I talk to you? You think I do not know that you people planned and pushed him to this place? Come and say all this nonsense just to put my husband to shame. <laughs> you have failed. Let me tell you, my husband is worth more than all your husbands put together. Where would I start from? Is it in the way? If Ndugwe had not shared his manhood to all the girls in Sapele, his children would have been in the investment now. You know, what concerns my husband in this matter now? Oh, wait. Hey, okay. Go inside. Go inside the house. Close that door. Is it Osondu? Osondu, look at him. As tall and as huge as he is. He cannot even give birth to good looking children. Look at his children. In the size, in the size of the are, are those the ones you call children? And you? Do you want me to talk about Ikemi? Everybody knows that Ikemi used his manhood for money rituals. <laughs> but money, he did not get. Children, mm -mm. you are here laughing at my husband. When you have a log of wood inside posing as a husband, you are not ashamed of yourself. Anything where you sow, now where did you go reap? Anything where you sow. Now waiting you go reap Anything where you sow Now waiting you go reap Anything where you sow Hey! <laughs> big brother, big brother hmm. This big brother who doesn't ask after his mother dear Ah, uh, Ipato, uh, how can you even think a thing like that? How can I forget my sweet mother like you? Do you, do you ask after me? Ah, uh -uh, okay, have you called me in Noche this morning? No chill. <laughs> oh yeah, how are you? I'm fine. You didn't open shop today. No, 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 no. I'm just coming down from Enugu. Enugu. Mm. I hope all is well. No, 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 no. That is no problem. You know uh, my elder brother, the one in France. Uh, Brochuka. Yes, yes, yes. He he sent money to us to buy land uh, for building of his house. So I went to Enugu to withdraw the money. Tomorrow morning. And pay for the land. Hey! He must be very big money. <laughs> well, uh, well, it's just two million now. Uh, two million just. Two million just. Hey! <laughs> uh, because the land itself is, is a million five hundred. So who is the remain to 
fence the land immediately. Hey! See, bro, Chukao. He has really hit it this time. <laughs> it's just God. <laughs> it's God, do. <laughs> so, how are you? Hey, nothing. I'm coming from market now. <laughs> As usual. You're looking very good. Ah, thank you. That has the mind to be a false witness against me, isn't it? Now you are going after my niece. You want to impregnate her. It will not work for you. Uh, Uncle Lofia, how can you think a thing like that? In fact, it's just like my, my blood sister. Ah, not only your blood sister, but your water sister. That is it. That is how you go around the village impregnating girls, especially Chika. Uncle Lofia, me? Yes, uh, me. Impregnate Chika. Don't let me insult you. Eh? Huh? Lofia! Don't let me insult you. Don't let me insult me. Don't let me insult you. Okay. Uh, 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 am I like you that runs after uh, uh, people's wives? Eh? Uh -huh. Did I go after your mother? Yes. I go after your mother. Yes. Go. I go after your mother. And you? You? Look at you. You are the cause of this, the, all this insult. You do not see another person. This is the, the, this useless idiot. That walks around the, the community impregnating our girls. That is the person you are going after. You are going after me. You come on, enter this photo. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. Did I do anything? Anything where you saw, now waiting you go read. Anything where you saw, now waiting you go So, amongst all the big boys in this village that have money, we did not see anybody to mingle with. It is Obina, Obina that you see to mingle with. Open up the goes around impregnating girls everywhere. Uncle, the way you talk most times, really, it baffles me. How can you be telling me such a dirty thing? Such dirty thought? Obina, that is my own blood. Obina is not your blood brother. Obina is your blood brother. Obina is your... He is not even your water brother, not to talk of being your blood brother. See, I know what he's telling you. He's telling you we are going to meet you. He doesn't tell me such things. He's not like that. He's not like that, though. He's a very decent man. Then, what was he telling you that made you mad, laugh like a mad woman? I was not laughing like any mad woman. Eh? Then, what was he telling you? You liar. What was he telling you? Why would I lie, Uncle? Eh? He was just telling me the reason why he has not opened his shop. How would he open his shop when he goes around the village picking girls to hotel, sleep with them every day? He's not sleeping with any more girl, Uncle. He just went to Enugu. That is why he has not opened his shop. He went to Enugu to pick the money that uh, uh, his brother, Brochuka, sent for them to help buy him out a land. <laughs> Which Chuka? <laughs> Chuka that is lavishing in the prison over there uh, abroad. He? Who told you he's in jail? Please, oh, he's not in jail. Oh. He just sent them two million naira to help him buy a piece of land. Inside of his bag, he has two million naira. Tomorrow they are paying for the land. <laughs> ah, look at that is lodged in the prison abroad. <sighs> See, uh, let me warn you, Ifato. Stay away from Obina. Stay away from Obina now. Obina is deadly. Obina is bad. He is telling you all those things so that you open your legs for him and he goes into the legs and he will dump you later. That is all. Uncle, please, please, don't tell me such, such bizarre dirty things. Don't tell me, please. I live a very decent lifestyle and you know it. You know fit plant sugar cane and want to have the plantain. Aye, that one na creso. If you so good, oh, na good you go harvest. Oh, and if you so bad, oh, na bad you go harvest. Ah, you go hey, yeah. Yeah, you go do, hey, oh, yeah. Every day na follow the one. So I go. Hey, yeah. So me Oh, yeah. Hey! Oh, yeah. Hey! 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 Hey!
DJ EJ. Hey! Every year young. That is foolish. Just look at what your husband left behind. Look at your waist. Man, Yoka. Hey! Ophia has taught you how to admire widows. God forbid me. God forbid me speak like that evil man. Ha! So how is your business? The rain has been dealing with us. But uh, we thank God. We were thousand nine. Ndukwe went to Enugu with his brother Ophia this morning. I got up early to give uh, Ogana money to buy Gary for me. So when I go back to the house, they've gone already. This uh, Ndukwe's brother, what they are doing to him? What? What they are doing to him? How? Well, okay, don't, don't worry, never mind. Eh? It's, it's alright. I don't want them to say that Ijoma uh, has said again. I I married her. I don't want there's nobody to fight for me. Ijoma, why are you talking like this now? Why, why are you making me scared? Eh? Why are you why are you making me panic? Eh? Why I don't I don't understand why you are talking like this this afternoon, no? Ijoma, please. You know, you know you are my friend. If there is anything you think I don't know, please tell me. You're the only friend I have in this village since I got married to a cab of village. Please tell me. <sighs> okay. Have you asked your husband where his pension is? Every good money that comes into your husband's hands is controlled by Ego and her husband. No, no. And no. have you asked him about his pension? No, 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 no. He, you know, he said uh, they've not been paid regularly. And, well, he's the one that feeds the family. Oh. Mm -hmm. My husband is the one that feeds the whole family. I was even thinking uh, he feeds the family with the money he got from his pension or the money he got from um, their family land. You know, their land now. Why are you not understanding what I'm trying to say? I am talking about Ndukwe's money. You're talking about family land. Which family land? If anything were to happen to Ndukwe now, who will take care of his things? God forbid. Please, why are you talking like this? Ndukwe will die now, please. My husband is not dying now. Why? L listen to me now. Let me finish. I haven't said Ndukwe will die. Every man like Ndukwe has somebody that's his next of kin that will take inherit his property if anything happens to him. Eh? Is it that wicked Ophia that will inherit his things? Ophia? Did you say Ophia? Have you asked your husband who his next of kin is? Next of kin? Please, Ijoma, why are you talking like this now? Let me understand what you're saying now. Next of kin, next of kin. I don't know what you're saying. Tell me, let me understand. Well, Mayoka, as we speak, Ophia has collected four years' worth of Ndukwe's pension. And I hear that there's something they call a... Um, Allowance. Allowance. They are going to pay to Ndukwe worth six million naira. That one, if it comes, goes straight into Ophia's account. Do you know what six million naira is? Six million naira. Hey! Please tell me you're joking. Shuma, tell me you're joking. Are you, do you mean my husband still receives pension? And he's even about to receive six million naira as we speak. As we speak now, they are building a big plaza and the house in Enugu. No wonder they go to Enugu almost every day. Eh? Even if they have a fight now, they will still go to Enugu together. Hey! Ijoma, you won't die soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Where are you going? Don't, don't call my name. Thank you. Don't worry. Don't my name like somebody that just took congealed snuff under the hot sun. Mad dog, yes. But this mad dog will show you what a mad dog does. 
You just sit down there doing nothing. My husband will be the one feeding you and your husband. And 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 all that you people have taken away from my husband, all of that you will vomit it today. You see, this mad dog will bite all of you. Wait, let them come back. I'm waiting for them all. I'm waiting. Amadioha, please go to your shrine. I don't have time. Go you can shrine. call me whatever thing you like. There's no problem. I will go to my shrine. Go to your shrine. Achama, Achama, it's okay, it's okay, Achama. Mm -hmm. What are you staring at? Eh? I'm asking you. Ifatu, why are you standing there with that thing staring at me? You're looking for what to say. Eh? You're looking for what to say. Come, if I descend on both of you, eh? You will look like people that just got jammed by a trailer. Look at them. Eh? Will you take that whole thing out of this place before I vomit? Yeah. Hey, the one. This is your daughter in law is going home. Smelly old woman. Come away, stinking woman. That evil woman did not vomit today. Ophia, I have told you since. Let us deal with this woman once and for all. I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know why you're wasting time. Eh? See, I don't know where that woman gets her powers from. Honestly, I'm scared. I'm very scared. Eh? Scared of what? Never! Huh? See, I know why uh, uh, I'm delaying everything. I know. If I can tell with the husband doing the way, the way I dealt with him, where was the woman? The woman is a, a small case now. I will end her. I will send her the message. So that. So, but, um, I hope you'll be able to buy all the ingredients like the white farm. I bought everything. Yeah, good. Everything. And I hope you are no more on your monthly period. No. I'm, I'm free. Good. There, she's finished. <laughs> she's finished. And I'm going to jump. And I'm going to make. Or make. Yeah, we're done. Maybe resting. Yes. I hope nothing happened. Nothing, nothing. You're sure? Mm, when I was taking my mind to her, I saw her exchanging words with Auntie Eko. I said. Uh, Auntie Eko called her a mad dog. You said the fight? They didn't fight, but they exchanged words. Auntie Eko even called Mama uh, this thing. She did what? Tell him.
even want my documents all scattered like this. So you marry me to make me suffer. You've not been telling me the truth. Was that what they go to? Because if it is, she's lying. She is lying. So you have been investing all your pension in your brother's family. You did not even tell me you have pension. And you brought even your nest of kin. That means I'm useless in this family in the way. Who did this to you? Nobody did anything to you. So this is what Ego told you. This is what Ego told you. Huh? Ego didn't tell me anything. Give it to them, or you give them to keep so that when our kids grow up, they will give it back to you. Yes. Again, our father warned us. He warned us strictly that despite our differences, we should all stay together as one. We should learn to trust each other. The reason I asked Sophia to take charge of everything. to do things. You don't force people to help you do your own work. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Eh? Did I call you? Was I talking to you? In fact, Miriamu ago drowned you there. It is you that Miriamu will drown. Are you not already drowned? Mm -hmm. What is your problem, Seth? Eh? Who do you think you are in this family, Seth? Eh? Hey. You want to know who I am? Hey, 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 hey! You want to know who I am? Okay. I will teach you who I am. You want to know? Come out, let me teach you who I am. Hey. Come out! Okay. And you want to know? Hey. You, 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 you want to know? You want? You, 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 I will do. What is all this? Enough of all this family embarrassment and disgrace. It has gotten me here, and I am sick and tired of it all. Are we the only people here in Akabo? Or is our family the largest of all families in Umog? We must not be together. For the fact that our father bonded us together does not mean that we must stay together. No. No. Not when I am still alive. Osando, your father must be disappointed in what you have just said. Listen to me, all of you. 
None of you should leave each other or leave this compound. Uh, why if uh, my daughter... Uh, uh, Mama, Mama, it's okay, please. Mama, it's alright. It's okay. Uh, Mama... Mama, leave one if you're out of this. Huh? Please, I beg of you. Leave one if out of this. Osondo has just made a point in what he has just said. Mama, what is the essence of a bond in a family? It's for peace, unity, love and harmony. But in our own case, the bond has just become a curse, a bondage. Mama, Mama, do you want to bury your children? Uh, no, God forbid. <sighs> Am I alive? What kind of life is this? Uh, Mama, if what you're living now is not a life, then allow us to do it our own way. And what is your own way, if I may ask? It depends as if you've asked a good question. Our own way is for you to desist from your evil act. Ndubeze, you are so callous. You are, in fact, you are a con man. Ndubeze, let me just put it to you. You are the architect of the problem we are having in this family. Mama, if this boy has come here just to insult me, warn him, or I will deal with you ruthlessly. I'll give it all to you. Ofia. Enough of all those threats. We have tolerated enough in this compound. Look at our family that was once known for peace. Our father was known as a peacemaker. Just imagine how everything has turned upside down. Of here, after this meeting, go inside your house together with your wife. I want you to set your conscience. That's if they have one. That is it. Mama, I don't know why you all hate me like this. You transferred this hatred to my wife, Ego, too. Mama, you once called me your lion. The lion that roars in the forest. Today, I am the pussy cat of the house. <laughs> I wish I am the first son of this family. All this rubbish wouldn't have been happening. Ha! God forbid. You, Ndubeze, first son. Ha. I will disown myself. Even our What is he doing about all this? Asando. You call this meeting. If you have called this meeting for this boy to insult me, you know I will not take it. The only thing I want to say is, Ikem and Ndugwe should go and advise their wives. I want them. Else, Ego, my wife, will hear this. Anything where you sow, now waiting you go reap. Anything where you sow, now waiting you go reap. Anything where you sow, now waiting you go reap. Anything where you sow. Uncle, good morning, sir. If I what is it? Um, Aunt Choma said I should collect the car keys from you. Um, they want to use the car today. They actually want to go to the hospital with it. Tell her I am coming, huh? But Uncle, she said uh, I should come with the car keys. Come on, get out of here. I said, get out of here. Go and tell her to go to Guajan and talk her. She said I should come with the car keys now. Ah. She said you come and she call it, uh, come and collect the key. Hey, wait, wait. She said you should come with the key, isn't it? <laughs> Boss. Get out of here. Oh. Anything so where you saw, now it's in the Come and take the key from me. Oh. 
You know feed the lamb sugar cane. I want to have a stick plantain. I that one a crazy. If you so good, oh, now good do you go harvest? Oh, and if you so bad, oh, now bad do you go harvest? Ah, you go hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go do, hey, oh, yeah. Every day now for the thief, one day now for the owner. Ah, you go hey, yeah, yeah. Go do, hey, yeah. If you know they pay, one day you go pay for your sins. Oh. Anything where you sow, now where things yeah. go reap. One day. One day you go pay for your sins. Oh. Anything where you sow, now wait till you go eat. Anything where you sow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The difference not that I'm going to make use of this car. Please, get down. I want to go to the hospital. Because you want to go to the hospital, I should run away? Nobody said you should run away. I want to make use of this car. Can Please, can calm can down. Can't you see I'm already going out? I am late. Your business. I want to make use of this. I want to go to the hospital. Come down. Ah, I'm going to be begging you to make use of our thing again. Ah. Out of the road before I crush you. Crush me. What about I will crush you? Of you, I'll crush me. Me? Of you, take it easy. Watch out. Get up. Get up. Get up. Don't go and buy your own car. Don't be punished. Stupid man! Foolish man, you, you, you can't go and look for your own car. Yeah, I don't like what you do. I don't like what you do. Eh? Anything where you sow, now waiting you go reap. Yeah, I don't like what you do. I don't like what you do. Eh? Anything where you sow, now waiting you go reap. Anything where you sow. Now waiting you go reap. Oh. Anything where you sow. Now waiting you go reap. Anything where you sow. Your Majesty. What am I hearing? Igwe. The land of Omwango is soaked with blood. The worst abomination has happened. Igwe, our great son, our great philanthropist, Agujiebwe, has been murdered with the wife. Arm robbers have descended on Omuago. Igwe, I heard that they raped the last daughter that came all the way from Enugu to visit them. I also heard that they made away with plenty of money. Igwe, when they left Ndiono, Omuago, they went to Amachara. They robbed Okenwa's son, Ifenna, and they beat him almost to death. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. What's happening to us? What is happening to us? I can't believe this. My own Agujebe is dead. I can't believe this. Oh no. Your Call Highness. a meeting of all the sons and daughters of Umwog at the town hall. Everybody must be there. This is a challenge and we must face it. And meanwhile, some of you, my cabinet members, must go out and go and commiserate with everybody and all the people that are affected by these attacks and robbery. Umogu must survive this. I say Umogu must survive this. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes. Hi. Come, Ion. If this woman knows they come here, may we come for this place. So come in today or to um Ion. Where you say you and Ogago are in those boys from? They don't spoil business for us. So. See, do away, they're just the waste bullet for air. The Koko be say they don't kill Agujebe and his wife. Oh. Where we leave this money here if this woman can't go carry him? Shut, shut up. up! I said, shut up! How could they talk nonsense? When are they too much? When are they talk too much? Eh? What you go do be say? You go leave this money here. Eh? If I'm a cop, I go give up. But we go thank God say, no be we where they kill. Iron. Hi, they you say we could just leave here and uh, this money just walk out like that. The black say you got another plan, no? All of us go day here, wait for Madame till she can't carry her own share. Osta, Osta, it be problem where we get before. Eh? I want you to make you not be doing the match. Eh? I go for Mama here. If she come, I will give her her own share. See, 
uh, iron. Make we no use anger, spoil business for ourselves. Uh, no be now we be say fire day for mountain. Now we won't come spoil business for ourselves. Forget waiting no start they talk. No mind now. See, waiting go happen. Be say we we'll go day here wait for my dad until she come. But if she no come, the thing be say even you say me I they doubt whether she fit come. But if she Anything no come, where you so we'll match. Now where you go rip. Anything where you so. Now where thing you go rip. Anything where you so. Now where thing you go rip. Anything where you so. Anything where you so. Now where thing you go rip. Anything where you do. Oh. Anything where you so. Now where thing you oh. go rip. Oh. You know fit plant sugar cane and want to affect the plantain. I that one na creso. If you so ah, <laughs> we are just coming to your place. Mama, so that how are you doing? Mama do you eat some ma ha eat some that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ijama. Mm -hmm. Ijama. Mm -hmm. Ijama. It's not about Mama Adobe giving her medicine. It's about this their everyday fight. How can they be fighting every day? How would the baby stay? My sister, what have I not done to avoid the ego? Eh? Ego actually gives uh, torments everybody in that family. Eh? Are we going to run away from her? No. Mm -hmm. eh? You will not run away from her. Eh? Take the part of peace. It's so shameful what we hear from your compound every day. Eh? Have you heard that? Uh, Ego is pregnant. Preg what? <laughs> let's, let's wait until we hear that one. Hmm? I beg you. We'll wait until we see. Mama Dobi, oh. what about the medicine? Um, I'm with the medicine here. Hey, uh. Why are you coming to my house? Yes, I'm actually coming to your house. Okay, so we can all go. We'll all go together now. Listen, stay away from troubles. Yes. Eh? Mm -hmm. are no more young. Mm -hmm. In the morning, one shot. In the evening, one shot. That's how we take it. Mm -hmm. Stay away from struggle. Mm -hmm. I'm no more young. Mm -hmm. eh? My hey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did you do this uh, robbers that kill that good deal? Hey. 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 Did you see it? I did not see anything. Hey. It's like they ran away with our own sheer self. After there is trouble. There is trouble. Those small boys cannot joke me and get away with it all. They cannot. At this critical time, at this, this crisis, they cannot. I must get to the root of it. I must get what belongs to me. What? Okay. Okay, where is it? Ago, one of the richest men in this village was killed with his wife oh, and now Chukuma is dead. What's, what's happening in this village? Hey, I'm afraid though. Oh. Igwe, we have brought the corpse of your sister, the son of Umad, who was found stone dead this morning in front of Mazioko Sison shop. What is happening in Omo? What is happening in Omo? Oh no, 
Please, can you address this people? Youths of Umogo. Hello. We want to appeal to you to be calm. What has befallen Umogo is unbelievable. Just two days ago, a great son of Umogo was killed, Agujebwe, was killed with his wife. Their daughter is lying critical at the hospital. If Enna, we all know his condition now. Yesterday, Chukuma was found dead by the bush path. And now, Osta is killed. Who kills them? We shall find out too soonest. Because yes. oh, it was reported that the corpse of this young man was found in front of your son's shop. I was still in bed when Okute's daughter ran to the house to tell my son what she saw in front of his shop. Your Majesty, immediately myself and Obina ran to the spot. When we got there, what we saw was very, very devastating. No. We saw Okute's lifeless body on the ground. Your Majesty, I suspect I am still in shock. <laughs> Youths of Umogo, I want to plead with you, just like my Onohu has pleaded with you, to be calm. I promise that we will trace and track and find out the people who are involved in these atrocities and punish them accordingly. Meanwhile, I want the body of the boy to be removed to the mortuary. I will send some of my elders and chiefs to the parents of the bereaved while we continue with our investigations. <laughs> What kept you? On my way coming back, something just told me to go to Ngoloma's shop and see her. That is where I'm coming from. Did anything happen again? Or have they killed anybody? Nothing happened. Just that Ndukwe will soon receive that his money. Yeah, we all have heard that now. Is that why you're excited? Mm. Listen. Instead of receiving six million, he will now receive twelve million. What? Uh, who brought that rumor? Eh? It is not rumor. Hey, Mpuruma got her information from the right source. You mean they are paying him all the compensation immediately? Yes, so and they will now pay him double, double the amount. Uh, I'm happy for him. I'm <laughs> very happy for him. Hey. Hey, what? Um, if Ato doesn't know how to cook, let me just manage and eat this mm, one. Please join me. Mm -hmm. My dear, Otomo, Umogu is a morning. Deep morning. Tears are flowing everywhere like water because of the deaths. But do you know the one that is getting to me most? That of Eugene Onora. A man that transformed Umuogu, brought Umuogu to limelight. A man that single-handedly built St. Mary's Catholic Church. A man that single-handedly built St. Calvin's Anglican Church in Amajala. And built the health center where men, women and children, Go to take care of themselves. Gave scholarships to every child that wants to go to school here no more. Same man, same man that is useless idiots, these hooligans and loiters everywhere, killed 
wasted his life for nothing. Murdered him in cold blood. My dear, I've heard a lot about this man and his wife. But it's a pity. Eh? What about those boys that were found dead? Those boys. Chukuma and Osita. Mm. My dear, do you know that one? That boy, Osita, is an only child. Only child of a widow. Ah, God. God will punish all those that are behind all these killings. Eh? Ah. Oh. Um, but, honey, when will you change my name to your nest of kin? Ochoma, I will do it. I will change it when the time comes. We're talking about deaths in the village and you're talking about you. I will do it when the time comes. When? Now when? Eh? Can't you see I'm pregnant? You, you already have a family. I don't know all the time you'll be telling me you will, you will, you will, you won't do it. I want it to be done immediately. Ochoma, you are bothering me with this change, 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 change thing. Huh? I'm still alive. I'm not dead yet. Or do you want me dead? God forbid. You won't die now. Please, nobody's talking of you dying. What I'm saying is this. I want it to be done immediately. Uh, you, you share your properties with uh, your family property among your brothers. Then your personal property, you, you, you assign it to me and your children. I don't know. I will uh, change it when the time comes. Look, don't make me suspect you. Suspect me? Uncle, sorry. Um, Auntie, I just noticed that uh, salt is finished. I want to quickly run across the road to get some for the soup I'm making. Okay. I took money from your purse too. Alright. Okay. Just hurry up. Okay. What's all this body body of property for me? I'm told you I will change it. Please do now. I don't know. It's taking you to my uh -huh. next time to change it. Uh -huh. What is it? I just heard the clear member by the gate. He said you have a letter. Letter? Yes. From who? I don't know. Okay. Ochoma, huh? the money I've been expecting has just arrived. Hey! Hey! God! No! What is going on here? I heard money. Who do you my brother? Eh? My gratuity money. Eh? My gratuity money. So, so my money has gone. Put your money. 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 God, thank you, God. Thank you, God. What is this? What is this? What is this? You have bring water. 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 What? 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 What?
Ophia! Ophia! What kind of noise is this? Mama, you, you, you have sworn nobody will sleep in this house. <laughs> what kind of noise is this? Mama, even you, at your age, you are still making noise. Don't you know somebody might be sleeping? Eh? Please, I, I was asleep when Ophia left, so I don't know where he is. <laughs> See Fatu and ask him Fatu. Uh -uh. What is it? Why are you crying? If I do, where is my wife? Eh? Where is everybody? Oh, my friend, answer now. Is it because we are still looking at your face? We are asking you and you are still crying. What is the problem? What happened? If I do, are you deaf? <laughs> I'm going to go to my hotel. Uh -huh. <laughs> we carried him to the hospital. <laughs> and the doctor declared him dead. <laughs> and the quest! <laughs> You mean the police has permitted us to bury those boys even while, while the investigation is on? Your Highness, yes. But they said before we bury Agujeba and his wife, we must let them know. Igwe, Igwe, Ubiako, Igwe, Ubiako, what is it again? The worst has happened. Ubiako, what has happened? What is it? Sit down. Sit down, Ubiako. Igwe, Ndukwe is dead. What? Ndukwe is dead. Umuagwe. Ubiako, do not allow the wrath of the gods come upon you. What did you just say, Igwe? Ndukwe slumped this afternoon and died. On hearing this, his mother, Mori, slumped also and died. Mwakwe! Igwe, the bridge has collapsed on Mwakwe. The lizard has given birth to antelope. Mwakwe, what is happening? This is too much on me. This is too much on me. The bridge to Wangela has closed. Ndugwe died. And the mother also died. What is happening to me? What is happening to Mwoka? Come, you know, Igwe. Straight, straight up. Go to go and get the opportunity for me, the the the, the chief priest. Quick, 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 quick. This is too much of me. This is too much. Hey! The unbelievable has happened. I didn't believe that the world would just die like that. The news of her of uh, his death brought Mama's own death. As I sit here, I still doubt inside me if Mama and Ndukwe are dead. Umogo people we not explain what came to them this season. If I was not around, I would doubt every story that will be told here. See, he is the one who called me. I came out from my house and I joined him there. He showed me the letter. Everybody began to jubilate. We all began to dance as we were dancing. He suddenly held his chest as if it was a child's play. We took him to the hospital. On our way to the hospital, Ndukwe died even before we got to the hospital. Chai, my brothers, 
Death has finished us. Why did you not hide it from Mama? You should have hidden it from her so that we will let her find out the best way to break the news to her. Is it, is it all this stupid girl they call Ifat? I warned Ifat not to tell anybody when he, she gets to the house. Ifat ran into this compound and blew the news. Uh, uh, um, Ophia, it's okay. She's just a little girl. At that age, a girl who is getting ready to get admission into university. Ophia, it's okay. Let Ifat to be. It was all my fault. I didn't know that Mama was um, Nduko was dead. I was the one who forced her to speak in front of Mama, thinking it was a very minor issue. Well, she should have called you aside. Uh, we, uh, Ophia, please. Uh, we are not here to apportion blame. Mm -hmm. God knows the best. Um, what we are here now is first to see that uh, Nduko's wife does not lose her pregnancy. Mm. Then we should plan on how to bury Ndukwe and the mama. Well spoken, uh, Mazi. Huh? Blame will not help us here. Mm. All we need now is how to get the burial date from Umuogu. That's it. So that they can be buried. So that we can bury it. <laughs> Um, the king and his council chiefs have decided and um, gave us a date uh, for the burial of our brother Nduwe and that of our mother. Um, well, they say that we must do everything possible to pay the outstanding bills by Nduwe uh, to the Umuago Improvement Union, that's UDU. That we must also clear the debts in the church uh, before we start planning for anything. And what I am trying to say here is that we don't have time anymore. All right. Now that we have gotten two dates for the burials, who do we bury first? Is it Mama or Ndukwe? Um, I would suggest we we'll bury Ndukwe first. Then the following day we we'll, we'll bury Mama. Um, who we we'll bury first <laughs> is not the problem. The problem and the bone of the contention here why we decide to have this meeting is on how to raise the money to bury them. That is it. Uh, Umuago uh, people, if they give me the amount. Mm -hmm. How much is that? Um, it is 600,000 Naira. Yes. What? what? <laughs> this is 600,000. This is on the high side. We're not celebrating. Uh, you must remember that we are not burying one person. We are burying two people. Wait. There's no need for too much arguments here. What we need right now is to raise the money for the burials. Uh, Osondo, how do we raise this money? And Ochoma is here. I suggest Ochoma should give us 400 or 500,000 naira um, so that all the others can now contribute the rest. Where am I supposed to get such money from? Hmm. Eh? Where? Ochoma, you are a businesswoman. Hmm? Bring out money so that you can bury your husband. Please, what is it? This is your husband we are talking about. Uh, Ophia, my husband told me that for the past four or five years, that his pension and your custody. Right. And he also told me that the land you people sold at Enugu, that the money is also with you. Correct. So bring out some money from there for their burial. And after the burial, you give me back the balance. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when women talk, they sound like little children. What are listening? I was coming to that before she even called you. Okay, I am surprised 
that you are saying that Ochoma here will bring money for the husband's burial mm. and that of her mother. I have never heard of this before. Oh. Oh. Besides, all of us here know that almost all Ndukwe's monies are with you. Talk to us. So what are you talking about? Mm. Please, talk to us. Please. Osando. Wait until Ndukwe is being buried. Wait until Ndukwe is buried before you begin to take over the wife of Choma. What? <laughs> what? What are you saying? <laughs> What is this man talking no, about? No, hey! You, you must be a, be a madman for saying that. You must be a madman! You are a madman! You are a madman! You are a madman! You are stupid! You are very stupid! Anyway, don't try to talk to me! Shut up! What will you do? You are not very stupid! Shut your mouth there like a stupid woman! I don't have your time! Fool! 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 Let us go! Take your time! When they are ready for this meeting, they will let me go! Yes! You will let me go! Wait, wait, wait! What's the meaning of this? How dare you walk out on us when we are yet to finish while we're here? <laughs> How dare you? Don't try this. You don't just try it. You see my husband you're talking to like that? Thunder fire you. Fire you. Thunder fire you. Fire you. Any of you like this, you have two big heads. Yeah. Come yeah. and yeah. stop me. Yeah. And you are some man. You. Me? You don't want to bring that money to bury your husband, eh? Eat him. You can warn your brother. What he is planning to do is abominable. Mm -hmm. Abomination! Abomination! You, if you commit abomination, you are my hands are not full. Sharful giver. Okay. Continue giving. Enough of that nonsense. Enough. Are you mad? Enough of what? Enough of what? Enough of what? Enough of what? You will not do anything. 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 Can you imagine your brother? Pull yourself together. You know you're carrying a baby. Let the only loss for money be that of Undukwe. We don't want to lose this child. Ate, that's what I've been begging her. I've been begging her to eat so she can take her medication. But she refused. She refused to eat anything. Ochoma, why? Mama, Mama's burial and my husband's burial will cost them 600,000 naira. And they say I should bring 500,000 naira. Hey! Muagulan, save me. 500,000 what? Ochoma. Are you the one that will bury his mother and his brother for him? He's a man, Who would I get this money from? Look at him, Dukwe. Hey, Dukwe, I want to be talking with him just today to take me to Enugu so that he will make me his nest of kin. Eh? This is the issue we were discussing before the letter now came in by surprise. And now Dukwe is dead.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Um, they sent for me. Yes, I did. I did actually. Your brother's uh, widow, Ochoma, Ndukwe's wife, cried to this palace to say that you are demanding the sum of five hundred thousand from her to bury your brother and your mother. How true is that? Well, uh, that is why I opposed my brother Ndukwe uh, from marrying that Oka woman. Oh, yeah. That is not what Igwe asked you. Igwe did not ask you whether you are in support of your brother marriage to Manyoka or not. Answer his question. Igwe, you know my family and you know my background very well. Igwe, I did not. See, the money the company is supposed to pay him before his sudden death was not paid. The land in question which he sold we used the money to pay back the loan I helped him uh, get from the com uh, from the microfinance bank. But every other money that remains it should have been given to the wife. How are you sure he gave the money to the wife, to his wife? Obiako, Obiako. Eh? You are not the way. Let the Igwe ask the question. Please, please, please. please. Okay. Ndubweze, how did you know? Igwe, if the money was not given to the wife. Uh, that means he must have given it to his concubines. Ofia, it is too early for you to start making trouble with your brother's wife. A widow for that matter. Eh? From all indication, that poor woman is pregnant. So, look for money. I am sure that Ndukwe's money is still with you. Obiako, I warn you. Mind what you say. Mind your business. Is my wife not pregnant? Is my wife not, not pregnant? I, I think you have interest on that woman. I don't have any interest. No. I don't have. No, Beze. Mind what you say here. I, uh, I am sorry. Good. Um, you are the head of that family in the absence of uh, Ndukwe now. Go home. Bury your brother and your mother. And after the burials, you come back and we look into this matter. You can go. Do you want to pull down my shop? What sort of reckless driving is that? You call this a shop. I am going to pull down this rubbish you call a shop and jam your life if you don't remove yourself from your dead body from my family affairs. Look at him. Every time you are two feet near a woman, your whole body starts vibrating. That's vibrating. Yet if you see a fellow man, you run, coward. I am warning you. I am warning you. Remove your hand. I heard you took Ochomwa to Igwe's palace to report me. Remove your hand from the flame before it burns you to pieces. I am warning you for the last time. I am not going to warn you again. I am not going to warn you again. Remove yourself from my family affairs. Else. Everybody in the village knows you are happy now. The burning firewood has been removed for you. Shameless devil. Shameless devil that wants to reap where he did not sow. Let me see you near my shop so that I put dry pepper that is well ground. Um, my brothers and my wives, I greet you all. Um, I want to thank God uh, for the successful burial of our brother Ndukwe and our mother. I decided to give us yesterday just to rest so that we can have this meeting today. Um, we all know uh, that the money we used for the burial uh, was loaned by um, my club in Enugu. And this money we must pay with interest. 
Um, during the burial, I saw two baskets of money. Two baskets filled with money mm. in front of Ochoma. Yes, I saw it. Uh, but saw it. we all know that that money will not be enough to pay back the loan. And that is why I am saying that, uh, um, Osondo, I also saw so many people that brought big, big envelopes of money mm -hmm. and you were putting them in your pockets. I even spread him. That's a good one. You can, your age group came with um, goods. big goods with some money. They spread him. Plenty money. I saw it. The, uh, even the second age grade also came with goods, with money too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and for you, Ifat, ah. Ifat, when you were dancing, the uh, our, our, our our sister's children, uh, they came around you and they spread you plenty yes. money. Praying her, I saw it. What I am saying is that all this money will be gathered so that we can pay the loan. We can pay back the loan we we, we loan from this club. <laughs> um, I don't want one kobo to get missing from this money. And that is why I call you people this morning. Ndubeze, you are mad. Yes, thank you. Tell him. Okay. Ophia, you are very stupid. Yes. Well, huh? mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Are you listening to yourself? No, tell me, are you normal at all? Listen. You think we all are fools? <laughs> you can fool people out there, but certainly not us. Not us. I am still very bitter that I lost my elder brother oh. and my mother whom you never cared for. Oh. And now they want to get rich with their burial. You may say, may thunder strike you dead. Eh? It is you and your useless wife that thunder will strike yes. you dead. Eh? It is you and that thing your wife is carrying that thunder will strike Whatever they do, do not reach ground. I will not reach ground. Come, baby, come for them. I, I, I am I, going I, to I, get somewhere for you. How do I reach ground? If you reach ground, go back to my father's house. Stay on the message. Like, baby, come. Hey, 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 hey